we have our resources and you have a bunch of transactions coming in. So the transactions are these little green things and the resources are these blue things. Um, and it's critical to understand that you have many, many transactions. I've, you know, I've drawn what, you know, I can't count eight of them here, but really it's more like 8,000 or, you know, 80,000 or something like that, right? You have a lot of transactions that are flowing through these resources at the same time. Um, and uh, you have a bunch of telemetry coming out. I think um, you have often tracing data coming out of the transactions. You often have metrics data coming out of the resources. And then in both cases, you have a set of tags, like you have tags on the resources, and tags on the transactions. Um, uh, there's a technical problem that I'll just describe briefly, which is that you have all this data, whether it's structured logs or tracing, and you have all this metrics data down here for the resources. And although they have some common tags, the data stores at the moment and the products that are used to, to actually analyze these things are often totally siloed. Um, and that makes it really difficult because if you're trying to understand how a set of transactions is affecting a resource or vice versa, um, you need to, your tooling needs to be able to join across on those tags and needs to be able to do that in the aggregate. I don't mean like looking at individual traces in the trace visualizer or looking at individual time series in a metric visualizer. The system that you're using needs to be able to join across these two data sets and it needs to be able to do so dynamically and efficiently to figure out how, you know, a change in the transactions is making a resource unhealthy or how an unhealthy resource is affecting transactions. And that join is very difficult because there's a huge amount of data on both sides of this, um, you know, duality of, of transactions and resources. And then on the human side, which is actually um, possibly more interest, interesting, um, these things are totally codependent. You have an unhealthy resource, then all the transactions going through it become unhealthy. If you have some massive influx of new transactions, that will make resources unhealthy because everything has some scaling limit. Um, no matter you know, how you designed it, there's always a, a point where it will break. Um, and then this is the key from a human standpoint, the end users, your customers, they only care about transactions. They don't give an SHIT about your resources. That is like your problem as a DevOps engineer or whatever is to manage your resources. But, but in, you know, except for the nerdiest the nerdy that want to read your postmortem, nobody cares about your resources. Um, they only care about their transactions. Um, but operators can only control resources. Operators cannot go in and say, oh, I'll handle this transaction for you, you know, Mrs. Customer. Like, it's just like the only thing you can do is control your resources. So that's why I think you end up seeing operators with dashboards that are like basically resource, resource, resource. And then you have, you know, business people and product managers who are saying, well, I only care about, you know, what our, our customers see. And that's why observability, I think, is so hard, is that we have to find a way to make our observability about transactions when the only control surface we have is resources. And so you have to find a way to express um, that relationship. Um, uh, and I would also say that there's this weird codependency between the end users and the operators of the system. Like we need each other. Like we don't have any customers, then our business is destroyed. Um, and if we don't have any resources, our customers are unhappy. But there's this codependency between the systems uh, and, and the, the people. And I think that um, uh, if you couple that with a vast amount of data, this is why observability ends up being um, both really interesting and really, really difficult uh, be because of these sort of these uh, these dual purposes.